Hi, everyone. Welcome back to The Bloom Diaries. My name is Raina. And I'm Emily. And today we will be talking about different colleges. So, Emily, did you want to start off? I can start off like which university I went to. Like, I went to a CSU for four years. How was your experience at the CSU? Um, let's say, I mean, it wasn't so bad. Like, I feel like a lot of the professors that I meet at a CSU are so passionate in what they teach to their students. And they just kind of get you ready for like the work world, basically. And um, a lot of the professors are so commutative. Like, they want to make sure that all their students at least go to one um, TA session or study session. I forgot, but like um, they want to make sure we at least go there and also visit them for their office hours. Office hours are always great when trying to get in more information about, you know, a lesson or, you know, whatever you're learning um, from your professor. Um, but yeah, I think CSU, their system is like really nice. Um, I don't know about much about UC. So um, if you want to explain that. <laughs> cause... Yeah, yeah, I can go ahead and explain that. So I went to a UC school and I think it was really nice. I got to meet a lot of different people. Um, mm-hmm. And you mentioned professors. Um a lot of the professors at UC schools, they're mostly researchers or assistant professors. And so they're always happy to help and they are very knowledgeable in what they do and very open to. So for my experience, I had a lot of fun. You do have to put yourself out there and there are like um, fraternities, sororities, like Mm -hmm. things that you can do outside of you know just going to school and coming back home and so yeah I really like it um and enjoyed my experience yeah uh what did you have anything else to add um I think like between both I think there's still some similarities you know like club wise and like you know fraternity and sororities and I think one of the main difference is since, like you mentioned earlier, that UCs are more research research based. Mm-hmm. Like, unlike from the classes that I took, like I mean, we both took like we both were different majors, but like yeah. in general, like I feel like a lot of the courses that I saw when I was enrolling in my classes, like they were not like research based it was just more like a class class like a high school class where you just go in and an assignment's given to you so like you have homework to do we have like projects to do uh group projects um so it's not like really research based kind of it's more like they're teaching you like what's this and that and like you know just stuff like that so I think the only research-based courses I've ever taken was just probably my science, like, base courses. Oh, Usually those ones are, like, my research. Or labs. I hated labs. <laughs> <laughs> I think I didn't like my labs either, but I find mm-hmm. them really interesting since I went to a UC. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of doesn't really matter which professor that you get in terms of like which topic unless you really know like um if you want a specific professor mm-hmm. um the uc system they usually teach like research on for example like the stars or something like that so mm-hmm. they teach about it and you learn about it for example in high school but then they teach about like how um, how the stars aligned, how they formed, and how, like, NASA found the stars. So it's really research-based, and, and, and that's just an example that um, 
I would give you. Um, yeah, CSU is more like teaching you to go to, into the workforce or into mm-hmm. like um like a type of dream job that you might have while a UC is more like a research based um and if you want to become like a researcher in the future like that's more ideal for you yeah I don't know if you guys have any courses like similar to what I had but like some of my classes um and I know for a couple like the other majors like business and um I think just business so far that I know maybe nursing um but I majored in liberal studies and the liberal study courses that we took that were like the main courses um we were required to like uh gain experience in hours working at a school um so that's what we did. We had to do that in every liberal studies class that we took, like the main ones. Um, and then I think for business, from what I know, is like once you uh, get or once you choose your concentration, um, you are required to, uh, I think, do something similar to like what I did is go out and work, you know, at like something related to your concentration um or you have the option to just take like these classes to fill in that you know but like most of the classes that I've seen is you have to like go to another campus or go to another area location to you know to complete the course so I think in general I I like that um every campus have like different kind of free resources available for you know a lot of students um because you already paid for it in your tuition so Mm -hmm. might as well use it so that's what I liked yeah what about you like what did you like about your school I definitely like that I like the free gym the free resources Uh uh-huh um how they give out like free pads for females we um, were passing out free condoms one time on campus yeah <laughs> they they're really nice and open about yeah you know, which is so health. nice mm-hmm. um, and you get a lot of free food sometimes so take advantage oh, yeah. of that mm-hmm. yeah. my friends and I only went to the gym at certain times and certain days because there were certain boys that went at that time. <laughs> <laughs> well, they went. I didn't go to the gym. Like, I only went there, like, probably four times out of my four years going to the school. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah. I tried going to the gym, staying consistent. Um, mm-hmm. And... I think I just had gym intimidation. So going with friends is really fun. Oh, yeah. It's so much more fun. (laughs) And going back to like the free food and stuff. Sometimes Mm -hmm. there are like meetings on campus where they're trying to introduce like a club or Mm -hmm. introduce like um, not just a club, but like fraternity or sorority or -hmm. anything like that. Like they will be handing like free food like pizza or donuts or you mm-hmm. know something like a little treat so that when you're mm-hmm. walking on the class you're or you're, you're walking to class there's gonna be like people advertising different things to you and sometimes they give you free food so like take advantage of that but mm-hmm. do be careful about like who's handing you the food um why <laughs> Because you want to know if it's from an organization, not just a random stranger. Oh, yeah. that's true. You do have to be careful because, you know, public colleges or universities, anyone can get on campus. So mm-hmm. that's one thing to worry about. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, the UC system and the CSU systems, there are public schools. And then there's also private schools. Mm-hmm. Um we're not someone who can talk about that here, but no. <laughs> we can go ahead and talk about trade schools. So 
Um, I know trade schools, there's a lot of different opportunities in case you decide to not go to a four-year college or even like a two-year college. Um, there's also community college, which usually lasts a, about two to four years, depending on how long you want to take. Um, and for trade schools, did you want to talk about that for a bit? Yeah, there's like definitely a lot of like trade school out there. Uh, I mean, you don't have to go to a four-year university to get a degree in what you want to do because you can just go straight to a trade school. I think going straight to a trade school is a lot better if you want to um, be something like um, if you want to have a career or something in beauty or even nursing. Like there's tons of different like nursing schools out there you don't have to go to college to get a nursing degree um I think you can get a lot more out of nursing schools or like you know um and then there's culinary school um what was the other one there's welding oh welding I don't know what much about welding but yeah I don't know much about that too but those are like some examples um um if you want to you know go in towards those careers um I think going to a trade school is a lot better because I don't know like I feel like going to a university I feel like I still have so much more I still want to learn because Mm -hmm. I feel like four years is like not that long to like to feel like you're a professional in a certain field you know figure out what you really want to do yeah I Mm -hmm. mean you can definitely go on to like your master's and just keep going on for more like keep going on with like your degree but I don't know I feel like I don't really have an interest in doing that but still like I don't know I feel like I didn't learn as much as I was like as I would like within four years which is really sad (laughs) Mm. yeah so like I think what I wish I could have done is like if I was still interested in doing nursing because that was the major like I was going to major in at the university but if I was still interested in doing nursing I would have went to like a school that was more focused on just nursing only oh I see yeah Um, for me I think I don't have much regrets besides not taking a gap year (laughs) after Mm -hmm. high school to get to know what I really wanted to do first Mm -hmm. um and sometimes people look down on you when you take gap years and yeah that's okay like mm-hmm. you don't have to like go the traditional route because if I'm going to tell you honestly a lot of people don't even know what they're doing <laughs> I didn't and, know what I was doing I went yeah. to college because you were going to college and the rest of my friends were going to college that's what I went yeah yeah and like, that was like the only thing I knew after high school like what I needed to do so like it's okay <laughs> yeah it's okay like mm-hmm. honestly I, I I just went because you know people were saying oh yeah like you you have to go to college to be successful you know and when you come out and you're just like what the heck did I just learn you know yeah <laughs> then at the same time it's like you build skills along the way but Mm-hmm. your skills are not really built during inside college it's more of outside like what you did how how like what friends you meet your network um and it's really what you make out of it because mm-hmm. not every school is the same um and so yeah just making the best of it is an advice that I would give to anyone mm-hmm. yeah definitely if you guys want to know more about college, I feel like we could do another episode, like more in depth of like our experience, like, you know, or our tips uh, for going to college. Um, if you guys want to know more about that, or if you guys want to know our, you know, our experience and our tips 
that we may want to share with you guys um we do have a a form a form yeah we do have a form that we always link down below in the description box if you guys want a if you guys want us to talk about that or any other topic that you have in mind um definitely fill out that form um so that we can um answer those questions for you so yeah yeah Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for listening to this episode and we will see you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.